Here we are in the uh, Bruntwood showroom of Black Dog Furniture with uh, Maka, the, uh, the founder, the, the man uh, who created this. I was more the dog's body, the founder's there. Arnie Boo Beetle, yeah. the managing director, always yeah. overseeing everything, isn't he? He is. God rest his soul. So, um, where'd the concept for Black Dog come from? Well, we'd um, have to ask. <laughs> have to ask <laughs> I don't have a Ouija board. But I can, yeah, <laughs> hold on, I can channel him. Uh, no, well, we did actually start off making black dog furniture, uh, dog furniture, yeah. like kennels and, and couches and stuff. And we've actually got an uh, adult version of the couch he used to sleep on down in the um, showroom there. But uh, so then we got into you know the timber and um, back to New Zealand because we've uh, he was from Australia. Yeah. Um, came back to New Zealand and um, found that all the timber that was available back here. Made, in, made really good furniture, so um, started making the human furniture and then one thing led to another and um, here we are. Because you, you guys were famous a few years ago when you did the massive like picnic set, wasn't it? Like a, uh, yeah, like a big huge table, table set. Table and chairs yeah, and made adults feel like small children. Where, yeah. did, where did the idea for that come from? Uh, I had the, um, my uh, children, my twin boys at that stage, Charlie and Joe, they were three years old. And they used to run around and they'd climb all over the bar leaners and the tables and make huts out of the tables and half the time when they were at the trying to get them to eat they were standing on the chairs and the, and I just wondered what it would be with, with a little wee fella because you know sort of looking up over the yeah, right. table what that would actually feel like as an adult so we got the proportion of a three-year-old child and then um, made the table setting to suit. <laughs> Um, do you use only native timber? Uh, uh, no, not. Uh, yeah, we do use native, um, but it's mainly um, New Zealand radiata pine, right. or Tokara Kauri, we call it, Macrocarpa, and then recycled New Zealand native. So, Rimu, Totra, Matai, Kahikatea, a bit of Rira Rira. Try saying that fast. No, no, and, not uh, after a couple of pros. <laughs> <I might know. laughs> and, uh, well, pretty much out of anything that can be made growing in New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. And so, you, you said before, like you made dog furniture and you decided to move on to human furniture. Yeah. Um, why, why was that? Why did you like, did you sit there and think? Well, like, it was, yeah, well, it's the, it was the owners or the humans that had the money. Yeah. Right. They were the ones, it's a nice dog bed, do you make anything else? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we quickly moved into the human furniture um, and, yeah, haven't looked back. It's been awesome. So, with, what, what have Black Dog been up to the last 12 months? Because, I mean, if you follow you on, on Facebook, like Black Dog Furniture, or go to blackdogfurniture.co.nz, <laughs> um, you've been quite a busy man, haven't you, the last 12 months? been sort of all over the country. Yeah. Yeah, we do a bit of dog marketing. That's um, leaving a message on every tree. I've seen that. as many trees as we can. I was out the back of New Plymouth coming back this way, and I was like, there's Black Dog Furniture on there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, whenever we're travelling around, we just usually take a few signs and just nail them up to a friendly tree. Yeah. Uh, so then um, the internet and Facebook, so social media has been really big for us. Yeah. Uh, and the website, selling through that, so we send stuff all over the country now. Are you sending overseas as well? Uh, we used to, uh, before the dollar got so strong, we were sending to America and to England, but we haven't done that for years. Yeah. So, uh, what's the biggest seller? Uh, it'll be all the bar, bar leaners and the, the bars. The wool press bar? Yeah, and then yeah. banquet tables and uh, pretty much everything beginning with B, so bookcases, <laughs> which is blocks. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's definitely the bar leaners and, and stools and all the hospitality furniture, so that converts over from commercial hospitality to um, uh, man caves and yeah. Home bars and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I was at a little Irish pub in town the other day, man, leaning up against one of your tables. Oh yeah, yeah. Kind of biddies. Biddies, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got our stuff. There's quite a bit, bit of stuff in. It sort of seems to pop up everywhere, old black dog furniture. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, spreading it around the country. I say the feedback's been good, and in, in general, like you know, uh, everyone's happy with the product. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, like I mean. Well, we've been going uh, 15 years now, so um, yeah. Uh, so it's 
um, you know, 15 years, we should be starting to get it right. Yeah, it's had like a hundred and dog years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a century. Yeah, nice. Oh, well, we'll um, have a quick drink and then we'll go walk around the show and have a bit of a chat about it, eh? What's going on? Yeah, actually, this is one of, um, what? we've been brewing this out the back. It's a bit of a moonshine thing, black dog polishing oil. Really? Yeah. A couple of things with this. Lights up your life, literally. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to now. Just to show you that it's still a bit over there. I'm not keen at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Maka, we'll uh, have a quick chat, so let's have a look around the showroom, shall we? Yeah, cool. So these are the wall press leaners you're talking these about? These are the replica wall press leaners, they modelled on the old Iconic yep. ones out of the shearing sheds. Yep. And then we've got Pioneer leaners, just more traditional. Units of one. Okay. For scale. For Barbie. Yeah, for Barbie. <laughs> Barbie and <laughs> Ken. Uh, then the banquet tables. Ah, huge, eh? So that's, um, yeah, they can come in all different sizes. Yeah. Up to even massive. Then more than man cave stuff. sack over it. Yeah, right. Stuffed full of um, uh, natural wool. So oh, yeah. That is smooth again. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. You smelt good. Yep. Uh, over here we're going to put um, all the tables which we hire. We hire for parties, weddings, functions, um, product launches, stuff like that. Yeah. We'll make a stage and set up a band here for when we actually full on open the so it's that solid you can put a band on your tables? Yeah, you can jump up there and oh, jump I, I haven't jumped in years, Macca. <laughs> <laughs> I could slowly jump climb up there. Jump. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. And so when is the, the plan for the big opening? Um, yeah, I don't know. With, uh, every two months we think about it. Yeah. It'll probably be going into next spring now, <laughs> once we get it all sorted. But yeah, one, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll think about a day and, uh, and uh, send out the invite, so we'll keep you posted. Nice. Who made this? Oh yeah, that's um, 7,864 bottle tops for me. And you worked your way through all of them? Yeah, I was going to say, it cost me a liver and a kidney. <laughs> Yeah, they were actually cool. So, um, we can get some studio and find a spot for them. Uh, we're going to get a bit of a picture. Yep. So, we've got the Barbie butcher's block. That's a, that looks really good actually. So we also like if someone comes up and goes, hey I've got this idea yeah. and draws it up, yeah. you guys would be like sweet, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. If we can draw it, we can make it. Pretty Kiwi mentality you've got there, mate. Draw number eight wire, isn't it? Yeah. And see if we get a visual on it, yeah. we can usually do something. They're not using them, were they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they've packed the train from Hippo Witty to Hippo Witty. Yeah, it is. No task, really. So that's us here at uh, Black Dog Furniture in the showroom in Bruntwood. Uh, grand opening will be coming soon. This is the uh, Managing Director, Arnie Vaubedal. 
Uh, he's been keeping an eye on us for the entire time we're here, and I think we've done all right. He hasn't yelled at us or anything. So, uh, yeah, cheers to Macca and cheers to Big Dog, sponsoring the old feral crew. Good on you, mate. <laughs>